Okay, so there was some controversy around the verbiage used by Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in which she called the detention centers that the United States is holding for people who enter illegally. Uh, she called them concentration camps, and there was a lot. Of, there were a lot of people. It was a very polarized moment because there were a lot of people who were trying to fight back against it, but there were also a lot of people defending that usage, including a lot of uh, Jewish historians. So you know, there were uh, there was kind of a back and forth on that, and there was a big uh, you know just controversy. But the truth of the matter is that indeed these are concentration camps by any form of the definition, by any form of the definition. So when we talk about concentration camps, you know, I'll read you, I'll read you the definition. Definition is a place where large numbers of people, especially political prisoners or members of persecuted minorities, are deliberately imprisoned in a relatively small area with inadequate facilities, sometimes to provide forced labor or to await mass execution. So uh, this fits the bill because they are people who are being deliberately imprisoned in a relatively small area with inadequate facilities. That's literally what's going on. And so people don't understand the difference between a concentration camp and a death camp. There's a difference between internment and concentration and a death camp. So, and the thing about the, you know, Nazis was it was a process to get to, you know, uh, the death camps like Auschwitz, for example. It was a process. First, they started out with internment and concentration camps, and then it built up to that. That's kind of the process. There was, there's a lot of different stages in the persecution of Jewish people. So a concentration camp is not the same thing as a death camp. There are different things. Concentration camp is literally, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a concentration of people inside a camp. That's what it is. Um, so here's what's going on. It's crazy. So some lawyers went in to the detention center to look at it, to do an inspection. And here's what the Associated Press said. It says, Lawyers say 250 children are locked in a Customs and Borders Protection Station in Texas without adequate food, water, and sanitation, and some have been there for as long as 27 days. Now, here's, here's what's really remarkable. This is uh, from a news article. It says, The Trump administration argued in front of a Ninth Circuit panel third Tuesday that the government is not required to give soap or toothbrushes to children app apprehended at the U.S.-Mexico border and can have them sleep on concrete floors in frigid, overcrowded cells despite a settlement agreement that requires detainees to be kept in, quote, safe and sanitary facilities. So, I forget exactly what the name is of the uh, piece of shit who is doing this defense, who is a DOJ attorney. I think it's like Sarah Faber or something like that, or Fabian or something, something like that. She's she's a lunatic. Well, not a lunatic. She's a shitty person. But while she's literally arguing that it's not part of safe and sanitary is not having soap or a toothbrush and being sl sleeping on concrete floors with aluminum blankets. So there's no like blankets or no pillows or on concrete floors. There's no one taking care of these kids, by the way. The ones taking care of the kids are other kids. So older kids end up taking care of the younger kids. There's no care whatsoever for any of these any of these kids whatsoever and so they're you know they're a bunch of them have the flu and obviously it's contagious and they're not getting better and they, all the, the conditions are super dirty and so I saw the video of her doing that I really recommend you go do go watch it but she actually was asked to work over the weekend in this case and she said she couldn't because she has dog watching responsibilities dog sitting responsibilities so She's saying that she can't work over the weekend in terms of being a lawyer in this case and litigating this case over a weekend because she's got dog sitting uh, responsibilities while there are children who are sleeping on concrete floors. They're sick. They can't get better and they're infecting other people. They're sleeping on concrete floors. They're not being given toothbrushes or soap. And uh, other kids, older kids are taking care of the younger kids with no help whatsoever. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, it's scary, man. It's scary. It's really bad. This is horrible. Um, and these are concentration camps. You know that it just fits the bill. It's exactly what it is. It's internment. It's concentration. They're uh, they're filling up these cells with uh, kids, and they sleep on concrete floors, and they don't have adequate facilities. That's literally what a concentration camp is, folks. Uh, that's literally what this is. So to all the controversy. Uh, Put it to an end, man. Put it to an end.